Alright guys, welcome back to another live stream um, on this channel. Sorry I took a little bit of a break. Um, I just wanted to focus on Shuttle Bunny. T um, Shuttle Bunny. Um, that's it. Almost said Shuttle Bunny too. Um, so I've been f um, focusing on that. So welcome back to another live stream. I'm going to try and live stream more now. Um, so that's going to happen. The reason I went outside so I don't get a copyright strike because of the music inside Franklin's house. So, owie. So, we have two more missions. A Devin Weston mission and a Michael mission. Um, if you did not see last episode, spoiler alert, um, pretty much what happened? Oh yeah, Trevor took Patricia, Martin Madrazo's wife. We did a mission for Martin Madrazo. Um, we also did a mission for Devin Weston. Um, stealing some car- I am such a bad driver. Stealing some cars um, for Devin Weston. Um, and there's another Devin Weston mission we have to do. Actually, we did two Devin Weston missions last episode. Um, so, that's what happened. And, um, now we're gonna go see what's at Michael's house after Michael's house. And then we'll do... Oh my god, I am, s I am actually such a bad driver. Like, I am so actually such a bad driver. So seriously, actually, mysteriously. Man, your house is empty. Ah, uh, hey. Hey, I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Come and Trevor! And bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened. And I, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. Oh, man. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. The weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip. Alright, so, go. just like that, we're gonna go. I wanna hear that song, but due to copyright, I cannot, so. What are you gonna do? We're not gonna take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. Uh, uh, of well, course, we have to meet him in the air. Okay, well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist. Giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. 
Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. No, wait up! Now, not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultancy and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards, merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci. I want country clubs and a depressed wife with blonde hair and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy. Maybe if you'd buy into Oscar's business? I'm hearing there's a lot of bounce in the firearms sector. Well, I heard there's a lot of bounce in your head. Where's the TP Enterprise windfall, huh? It takes time. Time and money. Sure, and Michael Townley, the Santa, the fuckface, is gonna give that to me. Alright, so, now that they're done talking, let's go. Crop Duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact! Tell him we got some guns to sell! I'll get you on the radio! Alright, so... Crop Duster, we're flying a plane now. I don't think we've flown a plane yet. Probably. Maybe we have. I can't remember right now. But, uh, Crop Duster, this is what we got. In this mission, you have to lie low. So the, um... Nobody can see you. That's why you have to stay alone. Oops. This is meant to be a restricted airspace. Altitude's just fine, Ron. Alright, so. And I know all about the Oscar thing, too. Cargo planes on my 12. Working. Here's Fort San Kudo. We're flying by the military base now. Avoid it, boss. Don't fly over. Yeah, I'm clear. Hi! You didn't see me! Oh, uh, you guys did not see me. Don't worry about that. Yeah, you guys go over there. You didn't see me at all. Longer missions, by the way. It actually is a very long mission. Okay, so AT, there's some hick type dudes. 
around here asking questions about you. I'm looking into it. Alright. Uh, shut up! Shut up! I'm in control of this. You know Ronald. Ronald, you there? Ronnie, old boy, I never thought I'd say this, let alone think it, but it's good to be working together again. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to have you back. We're a good team. Every team needs a leader, a leader, and a mindless follower, too. Alright, sorry, I was just checking my emails, see if I had any emails from on Trevor's film. I guess not. Uh, there's high trees, Ron. You can calm the fuck down. So protecting some mineral rich warlord, confiscating the weapons is practically a public service. Karma clip, we're golden. What's not to be sure about? When you put it like that, handle your end, okay? Okay. All right, so we're just gonna. Inch our way over, not doing anything wrong at all. You can all shut right. up, Ron. We're out of military airspace. Clear to gain altitude. Yay! Alrighty. Even though we just went in a complete fucking circle. saying you're live on your channel. It's like yay, I know. Final warning, divert or you will be grounded. No. Nope. My faith in your hands. We are clear to engage. Oh yeah, sure. So what you have to do is you have to fly in the back of this thing. They will shoot at you. But it'll stand no match when you do this. Oh boy. Bye bye. I always die at this mission. I don't know why. Um, and all these boxes are the ammo, and I just got hit by that. All the boxes are ammo, um, the guns and stuff like that, so. Ah, uh, Gain a little bit of health. A little bit faster. Like I did? Okay, I guess I did not die. Um, so all that's gonna go. There's a little bit of ammo left right there, but it's all gonna get gone out anyway, so this was just such a bad thing. So now you can fly this big ass fucking cargo. Come plane. in, air traffic control. There has been a change of personnel and destination on the Merriweather jet. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Right. Swapping radio channels. Over. Running. The cargo jet is now part of the TP Enterprise fleet. You with the mech? Wait, huh? Oh, I, I turned a little bit too much. So, flying over to the McKenzie Airfield to retrieve all the guns that are now gone! Such a bad... turned out kind of bad, to be honest. Looks like 
damage. I love how they add that little tiny bit of music. I think that's the only time you ever get to hear music like that. So, now you're going to get a call from Franklin very soon. Also, I do want to show you something. Trevor's trailer is a, a little bit different. By the way, let's call Ron. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, oh, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar he ain't getting these guns. Okay, look, I gotta ask. Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, alright? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Alright, so Trevor's trailer is a little bit different. I'll let you see what's so different. Never mind, it's not different at all. Oh, hi. Uh, um, I lied. I'm sorry, guys. I lied. It's not different at all. I don't think I showed this. Two pass up the time. I might have showed it, but you can actually huff gas. We're gonna go ahead and do that. So we're gonna huff gas, which gets you high, so that's pretty good. And you wake up somewhere completely different. And it's morning, which is good. So. Man. Man. That's not. 
Trevor, some of Mr. Chang's people came by your place. They seemed a whole lot tough. They seemed a whole lot tougher than the guys you met at the inn, and they're eager, eager to meet. To I can't talk. They're eager to talk to you. Oh my God! Apparently, I can't talk, and that's fine. But still, it's the fact that I just can't. So, um, we're gonna go to Trevor's trailer because there's a bit of a surprise there for us. And we're gonna try to take a battery car up a hill, which is such a good idea. 100%. Parachute, and not ammunition. I just wanna get this done. Also, we have a new heist to finish. And apparently, I am the best driver in the world. Oh my gosh, I just want to get to the tr freaking trailer. I just want to get to the trailer. And apparently, I am such a good driver! So with that being said, I'm gonna not do that. Okay. Yeah, this battery car fucking sucks. And I don't fucking know why. Oh my god, would you just get there? Trevor's trailer! Is this thing here? Trisha's out working in the garden. I How are you? You can talk to Patricia. You're the best thing on this earth, my dear woman. Hello, my beautiful lady. You're proof of the divine. I love you. And you can talk to Trailer. Now, not, not, uh, you can talk to Patricia. Mm, I can't talk. So, if you go into Trevor's trailer, it's, it's a little bit different. I'll let you go ahead and see. Look at all this. Trevor's trailer is finally clean. I never thought I'd see the day. Trevor's trailer is actually clean. Not a speck in sight. Obviously, it's not the best. Obviously, la di da di da. But it's clean. It's all that matters. Trevor! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. Frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. So, uh, Martin wants to kill us. Is there anything in here? Nope, that's fine. Yes, I am so happy that Trevor's trailer is finally clean. Um, the outside is not clean, though. Trish is going to do about that. The inside's clean. Benedict, light beer. Fridge is probably still dirty inside. And uh, Michael, Ron, Patricia, and Trevor all live in one little fucking tiny trailer. So that is that. Now, um, first of all, fuck you, you fucking piece of shit car. I hope you fucking die. You're so fucking slow. You are so slow. I don't know why the battery cars have to be the absolute fucking slowest. Like, it took me so fucking long just to get there. And I don't understand why. So, with that said, we are going to do this. Um... So, there's a new mission. What's it about? Nobody will ever fucking know. 
but everything's okay. Also, this is a meth lab because this is meth material. Oh, nice place you got here. Oh, yeah, it's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking <laughs> easy. But uh, this, this here is my place. And my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. Got yeah, news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic, somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh, yeah, you're a fucking hero. So... Far above it all. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello? Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off. Listen. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now, remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now, you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. All right. So, we're gonna go. On our way. Come on, Trevor. All right, so, on our way to Palito Bay. What now? We got a funding problem, so we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. All right, Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you, you know? Maniac, psycho, friend, industry leader. Well, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? 
It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys. Crap! The funny toys, the niche drugs, the everything. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Why don't be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying! Soon, the skinny jeans will show up, then the skinny lattes, and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You, Trevor, are the proto-hipster. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I don't agree with what you're saying. You're trying to wind me up. I'm very, very angry. And I want this conversation to stop right away. Hipster. Fuck you! Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I've made my point. I'm not a sadist. Okay, now that we just went through that weird conversation, let's go. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from L.S.? <sighs> Come on, man, knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers, you don't knock that shit off. Well, please, all right? You'd alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. Come on, car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Michael will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. Okay, let's take a look at this bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. We should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. It'll take us around back. Okay. Shit! All right, so going around back. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Mm -hmm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score's gonna pay. We ran to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay, I brought my police scanner. I'll drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Toledo-based security. 
Security Services frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Bolito cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. Roger that. Four units. Backup team at station is available. Uh, they've dispatched four cars in 60 seconds and more on standby. And it isn't even 30 Victor of shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Yeah, four cars, more in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many, we can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12, false alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're gonna set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not! We're still faster than your ass! I'm not gonna outrun a cop. We've gotta go. We're going. Alright, so, um, we're gonna go ahead and race, I guess. Drive up here, going up in the mountains. Take a long turn. I meant to take this little turn right here. So. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. Such a bad idea. Why did I do this? Come on, Trevor. Okay. All right, not that bad of an idea, but still a bad idea. Alright, let's try not to fuck up like last time. And let's try a more authentic route. By the way, last time I did this, I accidentally ran into the sea right here, so I'm gonna try not to do that either. I ain't making no promises. I think it was right here, I just ran right into it and failed the mission. Happens to the best of us. But luckily, I am no better. Animals having a nightmare, but who cares? I'm not me. I'm actually it's quite, quite frankly shocked how that car is going that fast. So I also missed the checkpoint and lost it. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win.
set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're gonna be making the wrong decisions. Man, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. Here you go. Bon appetito. Jesus Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Oh, good. I'm gonna stay here a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoys carrying military-grade hardware pass near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. We'll he handled more. himself at the jewelry we'll store. You sure this is the guy? Yep. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos! I just mm. noticed Lester has a watch on. I never noticed that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh. I just threw up. Oh. Hey, look, there's these redneck dudes been looking for you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay. Well, it's gotta be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> What's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T! Hey, man! What was my arm doing right there? Okay, so this is remotely possible, how? So. Picking up a... Picking up a... Going to find out what's going on. Here we go. Alright, I've made most of the arrangements for the Polio score. All we need is that military hardware, so move on the convoy when you can. I like how Trevor uses slang like you. Pretty weird. So, new mission, here we go. Hey Jimmy, it's your dad. Listen, if you get this, can you give me a ring? Tell your mom too, will ya? And Tracy. Please, son. Daddy's been a bad boy. Uh, please, uh, <laughs> you want a sniff? The fuck is wrong with you? Oh. <laughs> now see the way I see it. This country was built by and for gasoline, so I'm just trying to prove my patriotic duty by you know doing this stuff. Oh man, it's cheap, but it's good. Gasolina? No. <laughs> wow. Sorry, Mrs. M. Jesus. Mikey, you want a beer? Oh, shit, I'm sorry I don't have any low car. Oh, fuck oh. you. Uh. Where'd you two go when you went out, you and your boyfriend? Why do you care? I don't care. Just trying to conversate. 
Well, I was out putting some people in their place. Ah, you know, there's more to this gig than just going crazy all the time, killing everyone in sight. Just because I like the life and you feel guilty about it doesn't make you more of a man than me. And you know what? Deep down, I know you believe the bullshit. The picket fences, the fucking happy endings. And your street philosopher bullshit, that's gotten you real far. Oh, yeah, you've achieved perfect balance. Balance? <laughs> you've gone. Man, ten years in the sun, your brain is melted. You, you say words that have no meaning. What is balance, huh? Huh? That I fucking kill only on the weekends. So Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm doing yoga and meditation. Tuesdays and Thursdays, hookers and sticking up joints, huh? You call me mad? Fuck, compared to you, I'm the sanest motherfucker I know. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. sane, 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 oh, okay. sane. I am so fucking sane that I should open a fucking mental health clinic. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, fuck, now you're gonna stop being an asshole? I don't know, but I'll try. Well, that, I like your honesty. I uh, spoke to Franklin. Why? Unlike you, he hears that his homie's having trouble, right? And he has no problem coming to help. So you're ensuring that we lie low? Out here? By calling LS and inviting a known accomplice of ours you know to what? come out here, what, for a little visit? That is so fucking typical of you. So typical. You don't even ask about the trouble. You instantly think about yourself. You're right. I did do that. I apologize. It's not good enough. I'm leaving, all right? I might die. I hope you're happy. Right. Hey, I'm coming with you. No. Yes, I am. No. If nothing else than to get out of this fucking dump. You're not going. Have fun, boss. Oh, I'm going. Make sure you don't Don't fuck stay it up. out too late. All right, let's go. So what is Franklin doing for you anyway? He's tailing some guy. So we have to drive all the way down there. Mikey. Tailing. Shores, why did not hear about God. Shit, they see us, man. We gotta stay on. All right, here we go. I don't know why we have this car. But here we go. That's right, child. We're gonna fuck them up as soon as Trevor get in. And also, you can use your uh, special ability as well. Hey, man, me and Chop own these punks. We coming up to WH. North of two okay, why did that all right, all right, the O'Neill brothers are coming to us. I think they was about to send one of them anti-tank rockets into your Vespucci condo when one of your roomies told them that you was gone. Okay, so if you're on the WH, that means you'll be coming through Ratton Canyon, right? Shit, I guess. Good. Me and MT are going to take the company chopper and meet you there. Company chopper, yes, Michael, it's a tax write-off. Fra I actually did not know you could use this small. Hank, you still there? Yeah, I'm just about holding on to the road. We're taking the chopper and we'll head you off. Deal with these businesses. Stealing pricks on the road. Hey, dog, can you, like, get on it? Because these dudes is rolling hard. We're five minutes out from the chopper. All right. Fucking hell! Let's do this shit. Oh, shit! Uh-oh. Trevor, man, shit, you there? There was a deer in the road, man. These motherfuckers crashed out. They crashed? They dead? No, nah, they gone. They ran into the fucking woods, man. I need air support like right fucking now. So. Don't worry. 
Remember, she ain't mine, she's the company's. Alright. So, let's fly over there, I guess. Off. Um, Bigfoot. I forgot. The thing that disappeared was Big Bro Bigfoot. Switching the chop. One thing you can do. Uh oh. Come on, chop. Usually, chop hates water, but now chop's gonna swim. Okay, I thought I just 
Yeah, there's some bikers, the Chinese, Madrezos people, but whatever. Don't act like you're so popular. Uh, uh. Can I just go right through? Um, I think I broke it. I think I broke it. I think I did. All aboard! Come on, chop! Good, huh? Helping a friend in need? Come on, Chop. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Taking out some hillbilly crank dealers on a blood feud. That's what I live for. Hey, Trev, man, we're gonna borrow this and head back to town. Sure. Come on, Michael, man. I'll drop your ass off on the way back. Chop, get in. See you back at Castle Phillips, Mike. Yeah, thanks for the warning. Alright, so, there we go. We're gonna go ahead and do that convoy. Um, but first I think I wanna do the Devon Weston mission. Somehow, Franklin's already all the way out here, but. Who's a good boy? You're a good boy, um, job. Take you home, and then we have some more work to do. Come on, man! Hit everything, because I'm such a good... Um, brother Adrian. Um, find out yourself. Find out about yourself. inside All right, bye chop. Take yourself home, boy. Um, find out yourself. Find out about yourself, Franklin. Isn't it time you took control of your inner self? Are you willing to spare 5 minutes of a lifetime of fulfillment? Like fulfillment. Visit that website to receive a free actually analyze. Become an active engineer of your destiny, Brother Adrian. I wonder what actually happens. My divine with it. Look at each picture and select response that best characterizes your action. Yeah. 
Honestly. Take your reaction. Arouse mother trouble. No. <laughs> Probably arouse. Um. Take your reaction. Death dream dread burn it. I'm gonna go with burn it. Take your reaction. Knife. Solution. 100%. Nature. Marijuana. <laughs> Illuminati. Companion lover. <laughs> Peanut butter. Alright, that look right that right there looks like a dick, so I'm gonna do your own. Escape loneliness global <laughs> Reality show I'm going reality show on that one. And global warming. I'm also going to Illuminati on that one. Why not? Oh god. <laughs> bitch wife reality show Jock Cranley for governor. And bitch wife, why not? Blackout future kidnap DNA test. Trust hopelessness horror dry Greek. Alright, there we go. Click here for results. It's free. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. Don't let reality pass you. Oh my gosh. Can you take another one? Pussy spice. Let's see a password below. <laughs> What's my password? Oh my days. I've actually never gone this deep into it. Alright, so that was that. Congratulations, the process has begun. Dear Franklin, I, I wanted to personally congratulate you on no acknowledging your actual utility. I can't speak. Yes, this is not an uh, yes, this is not an auto-generated email. Welcome to the process. You have joined millions of others on a wonderful and extremely cost affection journey towards peace, freedom, and enlightenment. Visit to community journey without delay. Your stage two password is fertility. Alright, let me uh, let me actually write this down. I know I said I wasn't gonna go so deep into this, but I wanna I'm gonna actually take a picture of this. I'm actually we're actually gonna see what, what this is. Cause I've i I've actually never done this before. I I always get this email but I never actually acknowledged it. So we're gonna go ahead and go here. Oh. What? Illity. Spell that right. Oh my god. Oh, it's one of these. Um, pay to children of the mountain. Amount $199. Clinton, Franklin, Frankie at iPhone.info. Lisa, credit card number XXX. XXX. X. 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 Expiration date, 0416. Well, that's that was four years ago, so. Um. Divine. Um. I'm, I'm. P, no. Uh, I don't know. Uh, what 
is it? What? Solve eleven puzzles. Time provide. What? I'm so fucking. Um. B. Um. Now I gotta do five thousand. My extremity. Okay. Full time tax accountant, a pet mission, vegetarian chef, yogi, an expert in them. and a tattoos. I use my unique knowledge of human spirituality and development and transform lives. I personally led over one million people exercise their completeness through something magical, a weaker a weekend seminar. A seminar that thanks to the internet you can now attend from anywhere in the world. Congratulations making this far enough. Good, now let's start with a short exercise. Is that supposed to be me? Close your eyes, I said close them. Now I want you to picture how you perceive yourself as a child soiling himself. Good. Process that image, put it somewhere safe. Now I want you to, to I want you to, to picture yourself in sixty years time. You're soiling yourself again it is a metaphor for life. You need to pick up your ex and fling it away. Now imagine everyone you love is trying to kill you. <laughs> You're closing in. You're trying to escape, but there no one nowhere to run. A little girl with a hatchet is singing songs and college couples are making out in the car and on a scheduled road. Now imagine the fear. That fear is a color. What color is it? If you said black or white, you are racist. <laughs> Open your eyes. What do you see? You're an asshole. Your life is pathetic. Shame. Now we're getting somewhere. To break the pattern of bad choices and unfulfilled Potential, we must change the underlying beliefs. We have to stop dealing with precipitation. No. I don't know how to say that word. I am so... I'm tired. And start dealing, in fact. Okay. Health is a... Is a con serious... Con... I can't... <laughs> uh, choice. Sickness is an illusion. A symptom of negative thinking. Cancer is a lie. You need to learn how to harness your concentrious as a healing force. Face your fears. Scared of terrorism. This area and get past it. Scared of cancer. Smoke. It all makes sense. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck? If there could be more than one percentage of something. Yes, you just had a breakthrough. Now tell me, that's not worth five thousand uh, dollars. I don't think it is. Oh my god! Ten thousand dollars! Like, I literally never actually dove into this. <laughs> okay, let's password again. Hopefully I can get all this money back. back. Stupid. 
Oh my god. Well, at least I have the money. I find it difficult to trust people who don't like me. Sidewalk, it hurts themselves. I laugh and take a picture. Yes, hundred percent. I use drugs or and or alcohol as an emotional crutch. True. I have cheated on my girlfriend, boyfriend, wife, or husband. I have no idea. I'm gonna say true. I've masturbated in public. A hundred percent. I have in real life too. Now what? Now I have a new t-shirt, so can I go see it? My wardrobe? Brother Adrian. Congratulations, you are now actualized. Brother Franklin, well done. You are, are now in full control of your inner self and in touch with your true dimension. How does it feel to be self by now? You should already receive it. This isn't goodbye. You will hassle. You're about to sign up to our advanced courses for the rest of your life. Stay strong, Brother Adrian. Well, I need to see this T-shirt now. Um, I don't know if it's um already here or T-shirts. I guess not. Do I have one or? Not gonna be suits. T shirts. Here it is. Children of the Mountain Fellowship. Alright, so that was that. Now I own a t shirt. Yay. There was no point to do that, but that's fine. Oh, that's shit. Chop, what you been eating? Um, so like I say, I've never delved that deep into that ever before, so that was actually really cool. That was a part of Grand Theft Auto I've never actually seen. I've never done that in any of my Let's Plays, because I don't usually pay attention to emails. Um, the only reason I'm doing it now is just because I'm making a video, so... No problem. I'll have one there in a couple of that minutes. That was a thing. Um, but that's okay, I guess. Now we are a part of that, and hopefully Brother Adrian will be back in touch with us and we will be able to talk to him more about what else we have to do and um, I guess that's okay so we're gonna go ahead and get this next car for Devin Weston how about we hey my man where you going so we're gonna go ahead and drive over there it's gonna be a bit of a drive um, So, like I say, I, that was really weird. I can't wait to delve more into that. And luckily I have money. So money's not an issue here, but still. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So, you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. Alright, find the actor. Michael's the only other person that can be that is allowed here. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now look at the actor. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina. Alright, 
So just like that, that's how you do it. So now sadly we, we have to take off the t-shirt, but still. Nice white tux. Eh, that's okay, I guess. Get in the car. Alrighty. They need you on set. Where well the hell is Brandon? Jesus! Are you gonna find him? Someone's gonna find him! What is the point of building all these sets? We gotta put Brandon's head on the guy's body in the That was a person! South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can reconfigure his route to meet you there. All right, cool. I got the call. No drama. That's good. The studio is enough of a money sink without the costs that that drama can bring. What kind of shape is the car in? We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spikes and ejector seat need replacing too? Uh, both of those are going to need replacing, all right? Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know. Movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get down like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. So Franklin is slick and uh, Lamar is slim. Pretty cool. Uh -uh. So, last thing we have to do. I'm gonna go to Trevor. Or Michael, it doesn't matter, but preferably Trevor, and we're gonna get the cargo.
You just gonna stand there while I burn to a crisp? And uh, I think we've seen this girl before, but she's a fat ass. Um, so I did not mean to switch to Franklin. We're gonna switch to Michael and figure out what's going on. We're gonna get the guns we're supposed to get for the next mission and everything's gonna be fine. So I guess we're not gonna end the video off like that. Oh man! Ow. Um. Also, I'm actually gonna show you something. Darts. That's what you can do. You can't drink here. You can only do darts. Um. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of a dart game. How's it hanging? Throw a dart at the number. So we're gonna do three games. Just to warn you, I'm pretty fucking good. The way to win is to always go for this one. It gets you 60 every time. Absolutely. If you get two of them, that's 140. If you get three of them, that's 180. I usually play darts only with Trevor, but I never play it with Frank. 140. Nice. Immigrants everywhere you look. I know. Wow. You're good at throwing things, aren't you? I scored a 20. Diet sodas are actually worse for you, you know. You said it. Didn't see that coming. 61. Not so bad. Fuck. Ah, you're good at darts, aren't you? The government in this state is fucked. Absolutely. Last shot. Can you handle it? Yes, the fuck I can. Because I... The board is over there. Just handled it, so. All right, knock off the cheat. So, um, like I said, like I was gonna Good say, night. I won. All right, so you play. I'm pretty much the best at this. I scored another twenty. I scored another twenty. The hell, man! You look oh! natural loser. Well done. Really. Well done. Freaking microphone hates me. I scored three fucking 20s and not a fucking 60. That's a hell of a shot. 180. There we go. I finally fucking hit oh, one the fuck 80. Alright, so we're going to do the same tactic with a 20. With a fucking 20! A fucking 20! You could have gave me a 40, but you gave me a 20. I have one more. I can't fucking use that anymore. Alright, I guess it wasn't all bad. You earned it. Thanks. The fuck you! In fact, fuck all of you. I fucking die. I put my old man in the hospital. You did? You sure about that? Oh! 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 Fuck you! Bitch! Shut the- No! Michael! Get him! Come here, bitch! No, come here! Oh God! Fuck you, cops! Well, that's that. Fuck off! Email out from Tracy. Um, I miss you, even though you are a dick. Hey, Dad, how are you? It's like so majorly weird writing you, writing to you, 
like this. It's like the 90s or something. Email, wow, but I didn't want to call as I'd only get sad and then afterwards I'd always do something I regret. But maybe you don't need to know about that. I miss you. I think we all do, sort of. Fabian is so annoying. I, If I wanted to do yoga, I'd like to go to India or something. And he keeps asking me to call him dad. Only joke. Only joking, see. Only joking, see. I do have a sense of humor. My singing and dancing are going well, but I'm really pissed that you screwed up fame or shame for me. You're such a dick. Jimmy is useless. I wonder how him and I could come from the same place. Why, Mom? Was mom doing coke again when she was pregnant with me? Joke, or is it? Anyway, we're all fine. Don't get a divorce. That would suck. I much prefer watching you two scream and fight. Great. And what, and what I know miss you. It's great, and what I know miss you. Trace, Trace, love Tracy. P.S. Do you like the spelling of my name? I think it's cute. Crazy. I miss you guys. I know I messed up. I really do. I'm sorry. Changing, telling your mom she needs to give me one last chance. I love you, Dad, Michael. What happens if I actually call Crazy? What will she do? Go away! Say go away. What if I call Jimmy? Can I call Jimmy? Yes, I can. What happens if I do that? Dad? You little fucking shit. I'm not talking to you! So we're going to go do that and then end off the video. There's been a lot of sidetracks in this video. I'm sorry, but still. I'm sorry, but not sorry. Can you get a cab here as soon as possible? Not a problem. A driver's on the way. Thank you. Great. My question is, does Michael get the same email? I don't think he does. A lot of guns. Mods. Santos Customs. I was wondering what mods meant. It's like, uh, I mean, I don't ever remember or downloading mods for Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey, my man, where you... Let's go. Let's go. Take out some convoys. Because that's exactly what we need to do. Oh, you know what I just realized? Man. If I take out this convoy, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start the mission. So we're gonna wait till next episode to take out the convoy. Just because I don't want to start the mission quite yet. See here, motherfucker. Alright, that's normal. Anyway, so, thank you all so much for watching. Um, hope you guys like this stream. Um, I'm gonna try and stream more. I'm sorry I was not streaming. I was just kind of everywhere, if you know what I mean. But, um, hopefully you guys did not forget about me. If you did, then sad face. And, um, <laughs> thanks for watching as long as you did. <laughs> anyway, um, I love you guys. And hopefully you guys have a great night, day, evening, whenever the hell you're watching. Um... Make sure to follow me on everything Shuttle Bunny. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit that post notification bell so you know every time I upload. Subscribe to my main channel, Shuttle Bunny, where you get the most lit fucking shit uploads, videos, whatever. And uh, without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh-oh.
Martine, hey, look. What have you done? What have you done? Where is she? She's safe. Look, I'm gonna find a way to make this right with you. That will take some doing. Okay, so that happened. Um, I also got a new email. I can't even end the video anymore. <laughs> hey, Dad. So glad. Hey, Dad. Ugh. Hey, Dad. So glad to hear you aren't dead. We'll try to talk to Mom, but she's being a bitch about me dating someone right now. I promise I, it's totally right for me. He's a drummer and, he, and an actor, and he's really mature. He's a bit older, and I know you'll love him. So excited, Tracy. Tracy, please be careful. Love you, Dad. All right. So now that I got interrupted by two things, and as all, as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.